Hi hello welcome back so today we will be seeing about chapter 16 certain condition originating in the perinatal period code series P00 to P96 so those who are watching my channel for the first time danya here and you are watching learn with danya if you haven't subscribed my channel please do subscribe and share it with your friends also so now we will be seeing all the guidelines which is related to the newborn so chapter 16 of icd 10 cm covers certain conditions originating in the perinatal period that is p00 to p96 perinatal period means what newborn period that is day 1 to 28 days this chapter includes codes for conditions that arise during the perinatal period which is from uh, usually 28 week of uh, birth so the principle uh, before that use of chapter 16 codes codes in this chapter are never used with maternal record that is uh, chapter 16 p series code should not be coded with the o series code chapter 15 codes are never permitted on newborn record also same thing vice versa chapter 16 codes may be used throughout the life of the patient if the condition is still present as the patient grows older next come principal diagnosis for birth record whenever we are coding for p series we will we should code z38 as a primary diagnosis based on the place of birth and type of delivery if the baby is taken to that same hospital where it is born uh, then z38 should be the primary code second code will be the p series this is one guideline suppose the baby is taken to another hospital so there directly p series will be the primary code so use of chapter 16 after perinatal period when a condition originates in the perinatal period and persists throughout the life of the patient the use of chapter 16 should continue regardless of the patient's age if a condition is diagnosed in the perinatal period and continue beyond infancy chapter 16 codes can be used on the patient health record for example a patient is diagnosed with cerebral palsy due to hypoxic ischemic event during the neonatal period in this for hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy we are using p91.6 and one more thing you have to keep in mind uh, uh like uh, um okay here they are telling like uh, this condition has happened in the neonatal period okay so that's why we are coding p series code next is birth process or community acquired condition if a newborn has a condition that may be either due to birth process or community acquired and the documentation does not indicate which it is the default is birth process you understood like uh, the baby is having a default condition either it can be a birth process condition or community acquired but it is not clearly mentioned whether it is birth process or community acquired in that case default code will be given for birth process condition next code all clinically significant condition so whatever condition is there uh, is present for the baby all the condition should be coded a condition is clinically significant if it requires clinical evaluation therapeutic treatment diagnostic procedure external length of hospital stay etc next come observation and evaluation of newborn for suspected condition not for so observation and evaluation of newborn we will be giving z05 okay so here the diagnosis will not be found the baby is in observation period and the diagnosis is not found for the baby then you have to give z05 and one more thing keep in mind if the baby is taken to the same hospital give z38 as a primary code secondary code should be given for z05 suppose the baby is in observation and the diagnosis is found in that case you should code only for the di diagnosis don't code for the observation status if the baby is taken to the same hospital code is at 38 as a primary code don't forget next comes prematurity and fetal growth retardation prematurity refers to the birth of the baby before 37 week of gestation babies born premature are at higher risk of various health issues fetal growth retardation refers to a condition where the fetus does not grow at expected rate during pregnancy so for uh, fetal growth and fetal malnutrition we will be coding p05 and for prematurity we will be coding p07 low birth weight and immaturity status for that you will be coding p07 disorders of newborn related to short gestation and low birth weight so this is a very simple uh, guideline to understand so you have to take a note of all the guidelines whichever i am mentioning here 
Next comes bacterial sepsis in newborn. If the newborn is affected with sepsis, the primary code, first code will be coded for bacterial sepsis. So, sepsis in newborn should be coded as bacterial sepsis. The code is P36 and second code should be coded for organism B95 or B96 should be coded. And third code, if severe sepsis is present, you can code for severe sepsis with or without septic shock. And fourth code, organ dysfunction if it is present. Next guideline is stillbirth. Stillbirth means what the baby died inside the womb itself or uterus itself that is called as stillbirth. So if the baby is born stillbirth you have to quote P95. No other code should be used with P95 and P95 should not be used on the mother's record. These are the guidelines. Next comes COVID infection in newborn. For a newborn who is tested positive for COVID-19 after birth, you have to code COVID-19 U07.1. For a newborn that test positive for COVID-19 and the provi provider documents, the condition was contracted in the utero during the birth process. In that case, first you have to code for other congenital viral disease P35.8 and second you have to code for covid 19 u07.1 so that's all about newborn guidelines thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe and share it with your friends also if you have any doubts you can put it as a comment and um, that's all so thank you so much for your time take care wish you all the best